Here are nine of the world's strangest markets. For those in search of adventure or are fascinated by unusual places, these locations just might be what you're looking for. Number 9. The Kafirushi Bird Market Kabul's Bird Bazaar, known as the Kafirushi Bird Market or Alley of the Straw Sellers, might remind you of a certain Hitchcock movie. Located along a narrow lane behind the Poli Kishti Mosque, the market is lined with stalls where the vendors display hundreds of species of birds. The rusty cages may give you the impression you are stepping back in time a hundred years, as the market has remained untouched by war or modernization. The bird market has reportedly withstood decades of strife, and the vendors have been selling birds for generations. The owner Owners are most fond of the cowk or fighting partridge, which is considered to be king of all the birds. Those who are lucky enough to have a cowk take great care of them and keep them in special cages. However, on Friday mornings, the owners organize bird fights where the cowks are forced into quick bouts of strength against one another, while spectators can gamble on the result. Because of their king's reputations, the birds are considered to be too valuable for the owners to let them die, so they are pulled out of the fight before they hurt each other too seriously. Number 8. The Muara Kuin Floating Market The Muara Kuin Floating Market used to be located on the mouth of the river Kuin Barito, Banjarmasin, South Kalimantan, Indonesia. The vendors used to display their merchandise on boats named Jukung after the morning prayers until 9 a.m. The traders, or Duku, which were usually women, used to sell their own products, mostly fresh fruit and vegetables. However, there were also second-hand goods, which were called Panyambangan. The market still used the barter system between the boating merchants and the buyers. The Muara Kuin Floating market was a traditional market that had withstood the test of time for more than 400 years. It had reportedly gone extinct after the river canals were destroyed and replaced with roads. Number 7. The Donghua Men Night Market if you have an adventurous spirit and an appetite for unconventional food, then perhaps Beijing's Donghua Men Night Market is just the place for you. The stalls spread over a 200 meter long street and host some of the most unusual dishes in the world. The market is only open at night and has been around since 1984. Daring foodies from all over the world come here to taste specialties like fried scorpions, cooked bugs and unconventional animal parts, silkworm cocoons, and many more. Some of the weirdest foods displayed on the stalls are reportedly the centipedes, which are supposed to be bitter and need to be seasoned with salt and pepper, and which might leave little legs between your teeth. The centipedes are followed by locusts, which allegedly taste like fried chicken and are packed with protein. Seahorses are also in the top three weirdest dishes you can have at the Donghua Men Night Market. They are the most expensive item you can find on the stalls, especially because they are believed to possess medicinal qualities that boost the health of your kidneys. Deep fried seahorses supposedly taste like fishy bacon with a hint of garlic, but the item dubbed the strangest by tourists is a scorpion. They are displayed on sticks while they are still alive, but they are deep fried once a customer buys them. The scorpion is also believed to have medicinal properties, such as reducing pain and improving circulation. They supposedly taste like greasy popcorn, and some vendors season the scorpions with a bit of chili powder. Number 6. Spider Market the Cambodian city of Skuan, also known as Spiderville or Spider Town, holds one of the strangest markets in the world, the Spider Market. The town is so infested with arachnids that they fall off the trees or off the buildings and drop straight onto people's heads. In fact, there are so many spiders in Skuan that locals have taken to eating them. They allegedly first started eating them during the Khmer Rouge period due to the scarce food conditions. However, the crispy fried spider snacks are so popular in this city nowadays that there is a whole market dedicated to them called the spider market. There you will find mountains of crispy eight-legged snacks displayed on the stalls right next to the fruits and vegetables. The spiders are black and hairy and some of them are as big as a grown man's palm. Some of the vendors say you have to eat the legs and head first. Some vendors advise avoiding the abdomen while others claim the abdomen is the best part of the dish. Number 5. The Day Roll Taxidermy Shop the Day Roll Taxidermy Shop, named after its founder Jean-Baptiste Day Roll, is located in the classy Rue du Bac in Paris. Walking into this unusual store might be a hair-raising experience for the unexperienced buyer, as it is packed with stuffed animals. Tigers, zebras, giraffes, bears, baby elephants, elk heads, bear rugs, and many more. 
Although it first opened as a pedagogical market, Day Roll now attracts stuffed animal collectors and also hunters, who are eager to immortalize their trophies. If you want to take a lion home, you will have to spend at least 10,000 euros, while a penguin costs approximately 2,530 euros. Most tourists that don't want to leave empty-handed choose to buy the rabbit, as it's one of the cheapest items in the shop, with a price of only 600 euros. However, many customers wonder where all the animals come from. Heo Rahola, the co-director of the boutique, revealed to the press that the exhibits are either part of Dayroll's vintage collection or they come from zoological reserves or circuses. The taxidermy shop was almost destroyed in February 2008 when a short circuit triggered a fire. French soldiers, who were at that time on a routine patrol, detected the smoke and were soon joined by dozens of firefighters in their efforts to put out the blaze. The fire at the Dayroll market was dubbed as a catastrophe by Michael Dumont, the then mayor of the 7th arrondissement where the shop is located located, as almost 90% of the stock was lost to the flames. However, the French army opened one of its nearby military depots in order to double as a warehouse for the burned animals and items. Fortunately, as Des Rolles was considered one of the most important shops in Paris at that time, it was brought back with the help of its customers. After the fire ruined everything, one woman donated 50 box of butterflies to the shop. A man returned the back of a bull's head he had bought before the disaster, while photographers and artists from all over the country donated the their works. By November 2008, the owners managed to partially reopen Des Roll. Number 4. The May Klong Railway Market the Bangkok Railway Market is one of the most famous unusual markets in the world. Located down the street from the Meiklong Railway stations, the vendor's activity gets disrupted six times a day by the train that runs right through the middle of it. When it approaches, a warning bell goes off, so the vendors begin pulling back their merchandise so that only the flatter fruit and vegetables remain near the train tracks, but low enough to be safe from the metal wheels. After it passes, they begin putting everything right back into its place like nothing happened, and everything is back to business as usual. Usual. The train's horns is loud and cannot be ignored, so accidents rarely happen. Although it is not a fast-moving kind of train, the railway market has been dubbed one of the most dangerous in the world. However, the market has been on the railways for about 50 years, and only two deaths have allegedly occurred during its existence. Nevertheless, people say the killings happened so long ago that nobody remembers exactly when and how they happened. Number 3. The Gypsy Bridal Market Young Romani girls dressed in provocative miniskirts and gowns are sold by their parents to young men at the Gypsy Bridal Market in Bulgaria. Thousands of people gather to witness the marriage agreements that take place between the parents of the teen girls and the parents of the grooms-to-be. The fair reportedly takes place twice a year, and it begins with groups of boys and girls flirting and checking each other out while their mothers and fathers are watching. The girls wear what are supposed to be sexy gowns and heavy makeup, while the boys are usually dressed in black leather jackets and jeans. The prices of the potential brides are negotiable and range between 5,000 and 10,000 lev, or from 2,000 to 5,000 dollars. The girls are aged 18 or 19, while the boys can be as old as 22 or 23. The young women must be virgins when they marry, as the tradition dictates, so some parents remove the girls from school when they are as young as 15 to avoid temptations. Although this idea has faded in many segments of the Bulgarian Romani society, virgin brides are still sold for much more money. However, unlike other gypsy communities, the bride and groom must agree they like each other before the marriage agreement occurs. Number 2. The Akodesawa Fetish Market the Akodesawa Fetish Market in Togo Lome displays the largest collection of voodoo items in the world. Visitors are greeted by local practitioners, who invite them to try or have a look at their mystic items. Some of the strangest objects you can find on the stalls are animal heads, especially bull or tiger heads, and even human skulls. The fetish priests claim to be able to communicate with the gods according to the customer's needs, to find out whatever item is most appropriate. They use either dead or live animals, and allegedly only practice white magic while they claim to heal and not hurt anybody involved. Moreover, the practitioners say they are only able to use dead animals that have been found and not the ones that they have killed, as those would not be accepted by the gods. Along with the skulls and bones, other items that are displayed within the Akodesawa fetish market are ragged pieces of fur, rotting birds, herbs and medicinal plants, good luck charms which the practitioners claim have been blessed with incantations, tortoise shells, statues, and talismans. The place is reportedly surrounded with a strong strong stench that comes from the rotting animal corpses that are put up for sale. Initially, the market was located in Dahomey, but it was moved to Lome in the early years of the 20th century because of the putrid smell. Number 1. 
Witches Market in La Paz, Bolivia. Also known as El Mercado de las Brujas in La Echeceria, the Witches Market in La Paz, Bolivia is located on Calle Jimenez in Linares within a lively touristic area. Raw ingredients used in rituals, dried llama and frog fetuses, dried turtles and snakes, multiple herbs, folk remedies or owl feathers are exposed on the vendor's stalls. The merchandise also includes aphrodisiac formulas, potions and other enthralling ingredients used for calling on the spirits from the Aymara world. However, However, some of the strangest items that are to be found in the witch's market are the dried llama fetuses. Poor Bolivians believe that by burying them in the foundations of new buildings as an offering to the goddess Pachamama, it will keep the construction workers safe. Wealthier locals usually sacrifice living llamas for this purpose. Along with the unusual objects the vendors are selling, the market is also populated by actual Bolivian witch doctors called Yatiri. They are easy to recognize because they wear dark hats and dresses and wander around offering fortune-telling services and selling talismans, amulets, and powders that they carry around in cocoa pouches. Visitors allegedly watch as tied-up victims, usually women, are being abused, raped, tortured, or even killed by a hooded executioner. The viewers that log into a red room receive a link where they can pay using bitcoins. 